Hey guys, it's Fluffy Cactus 98 and today we are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, I'm going to read for whoever this is. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Is it well that thou art here? I am that which humans call Arceus, or Arceus, depending on how you speak. Pronounce it. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the basic one. I mean, what is thy name? Fluffy. I'm just gonna call myself Fluffy. Oh no, that's not it. Go with Fluffy. Wait, no, Fluffy C. Fluffy C. <laughs> yes, this is me. Fluffy C. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. <laughs> a world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Fluffy C. Seek out all Pokemon. Thou shalt find me once more. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shivers. So this is going to be like a really playthrough-y, so I'm not going to edit at all. Like, at all. What the... It's a phone. What? What in the world? What? What? What in the world? What? What? What in the world? What in the world? Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? What is this? What the? <gasps> Pokemon! Pokemans. Are you alive, my boy? <laughs> what the devil? You gave me quite a shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of the fall somehow addle your memory? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Nope, nowhere. So, you don't even know anyone here? You don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <coughs> I see. 
Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such a need. Hmm. Boom. Plish, pl plish plash. Oh my, I completely forgot. I just caught up these three runaway Pokemon when you tumble out of the sky. It's almost... I skipped a little too fast. Ah, but don't even... <laughs> Uh, of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems you we have a common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures they are. Oh, yes, and what m might your name be? Fluffy C. So you're called Fluffy C. That name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Definitely. Oh, I, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. Hmm. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. Uh, oh, blast. And bother. My darling Pokemon, why you must run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Ooh, wait for you. Wait, you three. Wait. Whoa. Dude. What's in here? Let me in. This is cool. Yo. Ooh, what's over here? The Arceus foam There's a glowing and beeping thing over here. Dude, this story. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. And you feel a power emanating from it. A message appeared on screen. I bestow upon thee this op. Why do I keep skipping? <laughs> oh my, I gotta stop this. Oh, that's Crouch. Do I gotta, do I gotta dash? I gotta dash? I just gotta run, okay. Speed! Sigh. Alas, yet another miss. <laughs> Glad you came to my rescue, my friend from the sky. I tried catching my little rain runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give it a go, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these first. Now, that is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using sharp feathers. Uh, I'm either going to do Oshawott or Cyndaquil. That one over a Cyndaquil, fire burning and black will flare whenever it's surprised or irritate. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go Oshawott. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and yeah, I'm gonna pick Oshawott. He's so cute. He's gonna give me Pokeballs. Whoa. 50? Is it that hard to get Pokeballs in this game? Oh. Now I've mentioned Pokemon Marvelous Creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself in musical size. And that's where Pokemon come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see, to throw them at one of the Pokemon and... Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. They just explained to us how Pokemon... Pokemon can shrink? I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch through my three runaways. Wait, do you get all of them? Though, far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Okay, okay, okay. ZR button. ZR, okay. Ashwat, come here. There's Ashwat. Night. Yeah, I got the Oshuwat. Oh, do I have to go pick it up? Yo. 
Wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. Catch the other two. But can I turn on motion controls for this? That'd be nice, actually. Wait. I think we have incredible. Wrap this up, shall we? Can I get some motion controls? Ah, oh, here we are. Game controls. Can I get a little bit of motion control? Well, I don't think so. Never mind. Rallet's over here, right? Rallet. Where are you, Rallet? I think he's up there, because... Yeah, there he is. Ready for the snipe shot? Come on. I don't know how far I actually throw it. Line it up. Oh! A little higher? Yeet! A little higher. The snipe shot! What? Like here. Snipe shot! What? Snipe shot! What? Dude, that literally hit him. I got it. Snipe shot! What? I. Did you just see. I hit him! Oh, oh. Got him. Got him, you're bad. You're bad. What? Oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Buffaloes are hardly 100% full. Give it a, another go, old boy. Do I just chuck it at him? Come here. Yeet. Oh my gosh. Yeet. Oh my goodness. I'm so bad. Yo, got him. Let's go. We got all of Laverton, Laver, Lavender Tins stuff. Oh, Lavender Tin. La Lavin oh, Laventon. Lavender Tin doesn't make sense. See, Pokemon ha you have caught have only just arrived at the village to help uh, with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I mentioned before, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come follow me. But I must say, Fluffy C, I was taken ba aback by how well you use Pokeballs. Uh, how is it that you can catch with barely just arrived here? A Bly? What is that word? One can't help but think there's a reason you appear here, and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That's the object of this arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding <laughs> you somehow? Ugh. If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile the region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We will call we in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for two, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? We shall help one another out, my boy. You've convinced me. Then, whoever... And from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokemon Dex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then, we'll sort out all your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal. And all that. Follow me, then onward to Jubilife Village. What? Jubilife? Oh. Ooh, a 
storm. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. Jubilife. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. <laughs> this is a young man of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit. What is that mark that they have on their sleeves? What is that? What? I'm like, what the heck is this place? What the? What is this place? This way, if you please. I think it's funny that he thinks our clothes are weird. When his clothes are kind of weird. Oh, Galaxy Expedition. Oh. This world leads to that. This village was scarcely two years ago. And since we know local of the Pokemon people at foot outside. Now, this building ahead of us, the Galaxy Hall. Oh, that's interesting. So it does look like the Galactic Team's logo, but like changed a little bit. It's very interesting. I need you to go out and report that we successfully, might I ask, wait for me in the canteen? Just past that bridge, then to the wallflower, it's called. The arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems where you need to go next. Oh, interesting. So they're actually doing very clever in teaching us, like. Okay, I'm just gonna look around, because this place is so beautiful. I know where I need to go, but it looks very nice. Wow, oh, investigate, what's this? Canal Bridge, wow, very unique name, I'd have to say. Very, very unique. It's very, very unique. It's so very, very unique. Canal bridge, okay. We walk across. Oh, what's this guy? Blemmy. Blem. Ble. Blamy. Blamy. Okay, cool. You're new. So am I. Interesting. Can I just go straight into the galaxy hall or is there another one here? Enter. Even if you're a friend of the professor, that doesn't mean you can go anywhere you please. Okay, I see. Word travels fast here. Dude, that moustache though. The moustache. <clears throat> well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. I like Benny. He's neat. <gasps> Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon, you'd be minced in meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in this village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him t at times, though it makes... It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've some troubles with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not too long ago and had to take to bed. But the professor, well, I wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just Akari says, I'm, clum I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! Let 
everything will be quite all right. Fluffy, see? Here, agreed to help us with the Pokedex. <laughs> Akari's like, uh, no. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to his survey corpse? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Selena's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Selena? Assuming the ind individual can contribute to this suit, very corpse, that is, I am the captain of Galaxy Team Survey Corpse, so GTSC. You may call me Selene. Professor Lavin Laventon has told me somehow me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now, it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for ongoing labor. <laughs> hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origin. Tomorrow, we shall see if you prove worthy. Oh ho! A reasonable decision. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I much might appreciate my meals without a distraction. Wow. Man, this game is beautiful. Aloof. Well, no matter, the rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual photo mo potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi f never failed to please. Professor Laventon, where did exact where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, uh, well, you know of great hole in the sky. The one of the people called the space-time rift? Uh, our friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come on now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now. You already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui, Hisuian, Hisui region. That there are in the grass, in the forest, by the water, wherever you like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to reach. <laughs> Goodness, this is just telling us some stuff. Oh my goodness. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of feeders such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three, we have a hard time catching even one wild Pokemon after us. Oh well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our friend is fearless enough just to do that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisure meal with the outside this, uh, this outsider? The captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi. You know, the slow progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has it, her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to reign in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Fluffy C. And think, if you might make it to Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides it for all of its members' needs, even if the members fell out of the sky. Num, 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 num. Nummy, nummy, num. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. 
Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Fluffy C has a trial to pass. To join Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Fluffy C's skills. I do too. I am strong. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Fluffy C, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll, we will provide you a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial, we'll we put you to put you put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the vi village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. What the heck, bruh? Not very nice. Captain Selene is somewhat of somewhat like his we. In that, they're both harsh. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Destroying. Now, now, she simply puts on stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall s out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. <laughs> <laughs> a rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world's full of mysteries. Ooh, ooh. This tutorial's so long. Okay, let me just run. Speed! Get it out. Oh, okay, no. Enter. I'm speed. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, 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 speed of. I'm trying to. Okay. Oh, here we are. Oh, no one sleeps in this one, really. Is that true? Investigate. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can keep you and keep the entire room heated. Okay, sleep time. Sleepy time. Sleepy time, sleepy time. Oh. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out and survey <coughs> your work in the Hisween region. To read them at any time, click the up button to overlay you. A good help screen. Uh, what did I? Uh, what did I just do? Oops. That's awkward. Handy tips for team members. Sorry, I'm distracted. Handy tips for team members. Don't you wish your toils to be forgotten? Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Oh, wow. That was clean. That was so clean. Bedtime. time. Bed time. Bed time. Rest until tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So this game's going to have a day-night cycle? Oh, I know a lot of Pokemon games do have that, but that's pretty sick. Oh, uh, what? <gasps> the Bidoof! The most powerful Pokemon. 